Only for good things, everyone. Well, okay. Hashem, well, okay. Hashem. This is Friday. Yeah. Hello, sir. Hello, the Madra Dov. Yeah. Yeah, Shakaya, thank you. This will be nice. Kanai's nice nine thirty. But in the south, eight twenty nine Montgomery. And my Shreya's house, eight twenty. We'll send out something. I think I sent Paris. I sent you an email. Oh. You got it. You can maybe send it out to. Oh, I'm in Shalom. Is there thirty or? Across the street is an A15. Where is the street? Uh, Montgomery Shoals. 1068. Oh, a little bit. Uh, yeah. He's down there. Yeah. Closer to Tron. There's a bunch of Indian, but they have the A15. So you dive in over there, then you go to your house. So. Maybe I'm, I'm not sure what that, that means earlier, but uh, that's, that's that one. That's you want to do it, please. You think? No, uh, the business is going to be 9.30. Oh, so when he told the the mail line, the I told you because he might have been before. Um, he has, uh, he has eight thirty of this. Right, that's what I'm Wow, I <laughs> said he could maybe do nine, but I'm a little. I think that maybe they're gonna, maybe they'll be a little late. So but just to cover it. He's number one, Rabbi Henry. That's that's a bunch of mail in. Oh, but he he do a lot of retail, yeah, money and travel. Yeah. Using him. He doesn't try. I'm using him. Yeah. Huh? He doesn't try. Use it? I just found out about it. He doesn't take money for this. Yeah. He doesn't take any money for this. No. Yeah, for, at least for the Crown Heights person. I don't know. Also here. Yeah. There's a rich man from Manhattan. The door. I want to be spot. Yeah. 50. What are you for living? I'm paying it. What are you doing? You need a car. You need electric. Wow. What are you doing? Yeah. Don't trust like, wow. That was, wow. This one yeah. happened. Yeah. So when people yeah. give you money, they say, no, take this money, put it in the bush. Give it Always be sure of that. Straight up. Very literal. Yeah. 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 You used to get Chabad out of money? No. To them. He has a... No, but in general, I did. He used to be that he gave him... Uh, well, he used to give all Kailo in the light. Free, and then everyone else will pay. You know, I didn't charge, but you know, like a mile and we pay. He would refuse to take money from Kyle and Delight. But then a new thing, he doesn't take money for Brisson. <laughs> well, that was the thing. Well, he lived a simple, simple, simple house, simple car. And then they have this other guy in Kranites who has a supermarket yeah. that he has this thing that he wants. Yeah, the first house. First house. He wants a Leonavi to come to his house a lot. He lives in that house? That's a lot of Originally, no. I heard he bought it for himself, is what I heard. And But it was because he was. He felt that maybe there was going to be, there was he was very superstitious. So he said maybe there's going to be, he heard that there was shade, him. I don't know, something there. So he went to Leon and he should come there for a year. And then, but then he kept it that way. There was a time there was kept it. in his house. Okay. There was another three in Cornites. Wow. People call him. He didn't tell him that the house is busy. But he said, come my house. No, he told him to do it. The sun black is a home. I'm not sure of that. Uh, he made, he made, he took the report to make over there. So he made nine places that day. And he paid for it. The people didn't realize that. It's cool. It costs more than a million dollars a year. At least, yeah. Because he made a place that it's beautiful. Not as he has the lacing, he has wine, he has breakfast, he has everything he has. Show him a side, let me write it. Beautiful bits where he took a bottle himself. And I have you like in the coil of the take of a heller to take, had a free bricks. And yeah. this house, everything there. Uh, and you know what? A Shabbos bris, they don't carry, they, most people don't carry there. Obviously, the he has an apartment there in the house. Yeah. Not only for the... Come and stay there. Stay there, he give you all the sodas of Shabbos. Stay there. That's what I hear the guys tell me. Yeah, yeah. So and I then, never uh, used to it. Come and, and change the and the you know, you hear these things, yeah, everybody is packaged. Yeah. By the way, he deals with it himself. Yeah. Yeah. People are passing messaging himself. <laughs> <laughs> but, my, my, but my mother also wants a Leona be at her house, so no, I'm making it by her house. You know, when I go to a bridge, usually for years, I heard it from one rabbi 
I look around. So maybe I will make another video. I know places that I don't know. I come closer. I, I, I come with every level. You don't know. Maybe you're a Leo. <laughs> okay. Well, it's such a big deal. You're a huge giant. Tell you a secret. It's also my anniversary. And you tell me So, and the night when you got married was Chayel? The night, yeah. So, you got married the whole world before? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So, the world was Chayel. The world. Cohen, when you visit him, Cohen yesterday, his father is Chayel. Let's take a look. Simin Lamit. You know what? Simin Lamit Ches, actually. Um, or maybe Simin Lamit, Simin Lamit Zayin. We'll skip over the halach of the Seifim. Page Kuf Mem Hey. I mean, Ches. Page Kuf Mem Hey. It's Jerry at this time. Let him have that. Proof no pay. Good? Godel, page proof no pay. You have a safer, Luke Caleb Aleph. You have someone. Caleb Aleph. Thank you. Zman Hanafas Tfilin. Here. Until you get to say this. Zman Hanafas Tfilin. Godel Schar Mitzvah Tfilin. As great is the reward for putting on Tfilin. V'chol Mishaini Menichon. Hareyu Kepechlal Peishi Yisrael V'gufon. V'af Im Nimna Mepnei Shetzichim Gufnaki. Shem Elo Yizar B'Klishason. Aveda he be on it. Even if someone's stopping, refraining from putting on film for good reasons. Because he feels, you know, he doesn't might not have a goof naki. He can't be careful with the kedusha. It's still an Aveda. That you don't have a taina. A Kriyashma Tvila that you could wear. Even if it's not a good naki. Somebody is there here. Cool. If you're not a blocky, so for the same shot, it's you. It could be the Yuchalizar. He could be careful. Somebody is there here. That's another. The Shanu Chachamim. The Shanu Chachamim liyoyim hadin. In Yezake mitzvah tefillin, kap schus machras. In Pasha behen kap koyva machras. Tefillin has a big koyach that it could lead a person to have elam haba. It could weigh the scale. On the other hand, if it was peshay on it, it, it could be mechriya the other way. There's no greater mitzvah assay than tefillin. Now, Shehuksha Kol HaToyra Kul Tfilin Shem Anamayan Tia Toyras Hashem Beficha. She wear Tfilin, why? Matia Toyras Hashem Beficha. The cats are called Adam Shehi Zoyim and Tfilin, the Chol Azoyim and Maidich Yamim. Now, what is the mitzvah? When is the time to wear it? The mitzvah is on the ice, all of Kol Hayoyim. She wear it a whole day. That's the mitzvah. Nay, should see him go fnaki. Shall you fear behind? Go fnaki means even if he person needs to pass gas, it's also a problem. It's all a shall you see the item, ma'am. You also need to have, you can't have Hesachadas and Tvilin. We explained various levels of Hesachadas. Vain Koladim, Yachuli Zarbaz, it's hard all day that to be cautious for all these things. You're not concentrating. Nahaku. At that time, 
Then I'll be careful during Kriya Shema and Davening to both things. To be careful from the Ficha and from Hesach Hadas. This is why they already picked up Kriya. That's the more hard to Maybe, maybe, yeah. Yeah, if you're saying that, so maybe yeah. this was in the Rebbe. Yeah. 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 And anybody said, so let me finish all that, but it's the Rebbe says, okay, let's finish it. It says that the Yom 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 the yeshiva boys went from the hours and hours and bakes and carry out, fill up by the window from day by day. When the last skit, Siv Gimel, that number boy got up. Age Kuf Memba, that number was better working on Bay Shiva. Yeah, the guy job is to run up for you, at least on a big Crane, the green operator, huge of green. And I thought it was meant so you see the guy can't find me within a bag, and it was like the grand is to get older. Oh, there's me, so I'll You can see it, it's so high. I think maybe the Rebbe this was in his head when he gave it to him. It's different to say. Oh. There is a, there was a Sikha the Rebbe he addressed in Shabbos Parashat Bereshis, Tav Shem meaning 1967. Two years after 1967. Oh, a year after. 1967, Pashas Bereshit. 67. And uh, he, he answered up the questions that people had, various questions, uh, tainus that people had regarding the Miftat film. <laughs> and he said, since somebody's tainus can bring Chasashon to a, a Chalishas by those who are, who are the activists who are involved in it, so even though I normally don't, I don't want to get involved in debates, I'm going to answer the question so they shouldn't feel any chalishas. So the first thing he asks, so the question, there's a questions over here. There are wash the hands. There are four major questions. And one of the questions why was for all the Tayyag mitzvahs was the mitzvah of Tfilin chosen? Right? So the Rebbe starts off saying that the, big, the the outset of this inspiration was, I made it very clear, was due, based on the Maimar Chazal, Vero Kalami Oritz, Shema Shemekalach Vayarmi Mecca, Elul Tfilin Shabarach. Since at that time, the beginning of this campaign, there was needed very much the Tipalim and Mosav of Fakhat. So therefore, I was worried of this mitzvah. And I made this very clear. Now, he goes on to say that every mitzvah, the Iker thing, idea of the mitzvah is that it is a mitzvah. The mitzvah of Hashem. Fulfilling Hashem's commandment. And you need to do it like Kabbalah's uh, uh, the Melech told you to do it, you do it. The king told you to do it. Uh, you need to know the reason. He told you to do it. That's it. But besides for that, every mitzvah has this unique segula. Segula miyuchedet that this mitzvah accomplishes. And when a person needs something, he needs something, he looks and for and he searches for that mitzvah which has that segula that he needs. There is a Gemara which says that someone who says, I'm giving the Seltz Daka, 
Shiyichiv me, my son should live, to be well. Harei is a tzaddik omer, tzaddik omer. Now, seemingly, why does it say specifically by this mitzvah, the example? Maybe he did another mitzvah, uh, he did another mitzvah, and that mitzvah he did b'shvil shiyichiv me. The example the Chazal give is about the mitzvah tzedakah. So the reason is because in order shiyich yibni, there's some segula that the mitzvah tzedakah has, that it can help shiyich yibni. Like that says, oh my Kaddish Baruch Hu, the, a person, the soul of a, a poor person, nafsha she'oni, from hunger he was going to leave him. And you gave him parnasa, you gave him to eat, you gave him life. Tomorrow, your son or your daughter, Chazal say in Tanchuma, they're gonna they're getting sick, have to pass away. I'm gonna save them from that. And therefore, someone who wants the son should live does the mitzvah tzedaka, but he chooses. Same thing over here. Since we wanted to affect the Amir audits, should be scared of Klal Yisrael. So therefore I asked again and again that you should do this mitzvah. Now why do we do it in America? America is not an Eretz Yisrael. Because Kol Yisrael Arevim Zelazah. So therefore, even the Yidin here should do it and it will help for all the Klal Yisrael. Now, another reason the time that the war started was a few days before Shavuos. Shavuos is the time of Matan Torah. Since every year we relive what happened years ago, you understood it comes to Matan Torah, you have to relive Matan Torah, learning Torah. Tefillin, it says, Kaim Umitzvah Tefillin, Umaylan Yalechim, Ki'ilu, Atim Yigayim, Atim Yalechim. So you want to have the Shavuot of Limbo Torah, you can't. So you want to have Matan Taita? What's your name? What's your name? Third reason, and this is your reason. The Zman Matan Taita, Yidim or Mekab command in all the mitzvahs. Mrs. Tfilin, Chazal said, Huksha Kol HaTaita, Kulu L'Tfilin. Now, we find by many mitzvahs, it says Shkula. Shkula can I get called? Tzitzah Shkula can I get called? It's Taka, Shabbos. Whatever points out the difference between Shkula and Huksha. Huksha is that you actually learn out with a heckish. You learn out different dinim in the Taita, all from Tfilin. You learn out halachis from the mitzvah Tfilin to all other mitzvahs. So it's much stronger than Shkula. Okay, that's the first question. What Kabbana but you also have here is a special mitzvah. They're talking about Shavuos, that the war was like a month or two before Shavuos. Yeah. So I remember they opened the Kotel and Shavuos. And we walk, you know, when the bus go around, they have a special road that they met for the Pope. He came from Jordan. So we walked first time to the Kotel. Thousands and thousands and thousands of people. I remember the wall coming next to the court the first time. This, nobody can take it from you. It's unbelievable. This, I was, uh, Do you remember that the little bit is not possible? No. Because I was, in my beauty, I was in this. No, but you remember getting that song for your permission, but the court of the self, not John, on the English, you know, that that you got. No. no. I was 1951, I was born. No, but till 67, you couldn't go because of Jordan. Jordanians. You couldn't go. They didn't let you. And the Jordanian or the Jordanians English. didn't let till 67. They let you refuse Spanish. They, they let English. you few steps. You go. Yeah? Isaiah told me that they died, they sneak to the person. No, you were able to go during the times of the British. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Is there a Maybe there was time when they didn't let them. They were allowed to go to the place, so they did. 
the problem was after 48, then they couldn't go. Jordan took over. Till 48, the British was there. Maybe the British didn't allow some time. Um, for number one, What year is cotton? What all this? Okay. So, this cotton, Api Taira, Mina Taira, you only become a god, not only when you're 13, you need two things. Shanim and Samadim. He's 13, and he also have base Cyrus, Lamata Ba'isamakim, by the Bris, base Cyrus. Till he grows the base Cyrus, he's not a god, Mina Taira. So some say that this cotton over here does not mean that any child seven, Especially eight years cotton. old, this child, that he's, he's 13, but he's not half that, he could do it. <speaking in Hebrew> that we don't put on tefillin on someone, on a child. However, <speaking in Hebrew> Achshav, Nowadays, we are the minigis to mechanic them two, three months before. And not only that, they take them to a place where they're making that feeling and they show them the whole way how to make that feeling, how to write it, how to put it together. And have kids from shopping around the world with their 11 fellow people. They could feel that other people, but they can set them up. They know. They're not but there were some people that put on even before. I think by some of the rebels they put on maybe even earlier. Yeah, yeah earlier. Yeah. So, uh, Could yeah, because really, with that chinuch, tefillin should not be different than any other mitzvah. Once you you put on tzitzis, you put on why should you put on tefillin on it? So it's a it's a mitzvah that's it to do chinuch. We're so used to it that it's like a bar mitzvah. Because the reason is because tefillin needs guf naki, not like tzitzis. Naki, we don't want the children to wear it if they don't have a guf naki. Therefore, we delay it until right by, by, by. Some people actually only put it on the day of the bar mitzvah. They don't start before. Some people. I could shot it here by Rabbi Khan, the other guy, that in the time of the tefillah shachit, maybe four or five times, they take off everything, go to the better and take it. Are you allowed to do that? You take it off, I see, put it on the table, put it to the bed, and come back to the bed. It's not a it's not a it's not a no, but you're allowed to only fit in. But every minute you... I don't know. It's been very much to sports on the secret at right once. Who? Who? Who did? What do you mean, sir? Nothing. Sometimes see you outside and bounce out, right? Sure. No, don't end the top. so well. Something wrong. Yeah, yes, but it's bothering me because I think in my mind is put first, pin it, but don't put it back in it because you can you put it back in it and make it go there. Do you understand my? Uh, what should he do? He wants to wear the whole dab. Okay. Yeah. Lamit <laughs> As long as he knows he could do it for Kiyashman's Tfilah. What's called M.I.? 
What's the problem with the mood? Stomach, bowel mood. Why is making the... Okay, so he asked me, Shein Yoch, the Shomatats and the Fir Shasat Filo, we'll explain in a later Sivit. Shar Choyla, a Mitzar Bacholyo, the aim Daiti Mishel is a Mitzai Potter, which I also see a Daiti Mahan, the Lab Chayib Apopi Shukhoyla. So it's not just Stama Choyla, any Choyla is Chayib. But if the Choyla, his mind is not, you know, with it, so, because he has so much pain, so he's potter because he he can't he's gonna be Messiah Das, he can't think about the film. It's funny when I had my heart surgery, you know, to change two valves, seven hours operation. So I'm knocked out. And then they bring you up and take like one or two hours till you get up. When I was up, that's what they told me that uh said so thank you to the nurse and the doctor were there. Thank you very much, and then I asked for Twina. So they didn't let me, because I'm in bed, I cannot move. So then Rabbi Azri called the rabbi from the Torah, came back an hour later, and he helped me to get up and to you know, I have to sit down, I couldn't move. I remember that long. Um, How you feel now? I feel good when I can confess it. It's very little, but I go out. Noshim avodim kananim pturim mitfilin, nei shehu mitzvah asay shazman groma. She shapes beyontif einin zman tfilin. Even on night, min hatoyda we learned, machloek is showing him whether night time, min hatoyda you put on tfilin. Some is showing him say, min hatoyda is potter. Others say you're chayav, and it's just min hatirabon and exeda because you might sleep in them. Fall asleep, so we don't put on night. Mm-hmm. We hold that way. The minatoira tefillin can be worn at night. Just like zayda, it's an iser with the yeah. because you're going to sleep in it. You can fall asleep. Now, remember, it's still that means now it's night and day minatoira. So how is that in the cessation of Because everyone agrees that shabbos and yontif you don't put on. Tfilin. That's what makes his man grammar, not the fact that it's day and not night, because that's not true. Right. is also me. So, therefore, women are potter. They don't know how to be careful with the tefillin. They're not used to the tefillin, the Hesach Hadas. They were unique. Now there's a lot of women that feel that they're like Rashi's daughter today. They feel like they're Rashi's daughter. The problem. The big problem. So therefore, because a woman is not chayiv in the mitzvah, there's no reason, sometimes you say, um, that in that time she could do it. She could sit in the sukkah. The women come to shul to hear shayfer. A lot of women they do svira sa'imer. They're doing mitzvah. They're not chayiv. Sure. So right, the lavanas is beautiful. People very nice. It's beautiful. They took it upon themselves certain mitzvahs to do. But there's certain mitzvahs when they do it, it's a chisarin what to do it. Then we say don't do it. That's not for you. You know, remember, even men, really, really, we should be wearing like we learned the whole day. The whole day. Okay. But we can't be careful with the Hesach Hadas and the Ficha. So therefore, we only do it. A, okay. So but women are not shy if they don't need to get into the whole thing. Don't get into the whole Shaila. Because you're not shy if don't get into the whole stuff. If we don't want you wearing food. The women which are from, the women which are keeping the taira, they don't feel bad if they're not wearing tefillin. They don't have any taiva to it from. Our daughters, our wives, they don't have any taiva to it. The people that are not keeping them, it's a certain day. He's like, they want to front film. That's great. It's a funny thing. The girls are going to they be sacko. Okay, you can wash. <laughs> they told them to kiss the Lord. When they come to the court, they put and when you put it in it, you don't put it in This is just a shrine. This is nothing. But not the head This that they're putting on tefillin has nothing to do with this shrine to do mitzvahs. 
You don't see by them such a chibov mitzvahs bechlal. This is provocative, trying to make statements and make trouble. It's called troublemakers. Okay. This is, we don't need to open up Shulchan Arich and, and tell them, you know, look here, you're wrong. These are just troublemakers pro- pro- making provocations. That's Not l'shma, people looking to, to get painful, be honest and, 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 and just making uh, trouble. Propaganda, propaganda. They, they get, get yeah, so, it's propaganda. Mean? It's not... It's not like we see that they're keeping all that they're such rabbitsons in all other areas they're real rabbitsons. And what's missing by them is that they want to do this mitzvah. Like we said, there were certain women in history that did wear tefillin. Very unique women that were in a very high madrega that they, they did. But this is nothing at all compared to what the, this is not people that are Rebetzins, that they're very hamadrega and they really feel this is what they're missing for their level of Kedusha. This is just, <laughs> this is just people making trouble. And maybe you're right, they're being paid for it, who knows, people are being paid, they say they're being paid to demonstrate, they've been paid to make riots, yeah. so we don't know what people are being paid. I just today was speaking to someone, he He's a very controversial individual. Uh, uh, he's a Belzer Chassid. Who he takes people on to the Harabayit. Mm. He goes in the Harabayit. And uh, <laughs> so he said that the Shabak, they didn't want him to go to the Harabayit. He said all his friends were being contacted by the Shabak, the secret agency in Israel, that the Shabak, like the FBI over there, that the Shabak was contacting him that they sh- he, they should uh, you know give information they're going to pay them off and his friends they came to him and they were honest they said listen you know they're coming to me but you know so one of them he said you know I'm very I don't have money I'm very poor let me do it you know I guess I need money <laughs> I need money you know exactly what to do when is he planning to go into the Harabais to make trouble? <laughs> the Gnoli is so not happy. They didn't want people to go because they're gonna, they felt that once people go up, they're going to start going to places where it's also to walk. Yeah, so, you know, but he's a very, he's like his own independent mind. He says that when 67 happened, he was 14 years old. And he, or maybe he was 13, he was 14, you know, your age. And he was, uh, he, 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 uh, he had to wait a year to get permission to go there. He put in the, to get permission to go. So he's been going since he's 14. He goes up. Uh, but we know where he's He doesn't go. He says that you go up on the mountain after you go in. I said that the, the Jewish people want to go up. They can only go up in that spot. You know, you see by the koisel there. Oh, and the side, yeah. There's like a ramp. That's the only place you can go. <laughs> you can go in on... And he says that the on the Harabais itself, the there's levels. And the there's an elevated part where that's where the... The Azara was and the Mesamikdash was on an elevated portion on the Harabais. So he says when he goes up, he doesn't go on the on the elevated part. He said there's like st- ancient steps there, and it goes upwards on the slope, goes up. On the higher part, it's like a story up. He says he's, he's go lower and he goes all around on the sides. But this is a this is very you know, always become a Mikdash? It's not clear exactly. That's one of the big problems. Not clear. That's why you're not allowed to go no place there. Yes. Very not clear. Mm-hmm. Right now, the Harabayis is very large. I mean, larger than we find Hazal say. Yeah, the area. Yeah. yeah. Whenever you see this, if you ever see the Going up like uh, Haredi people, it's for him and his family because no one else is going. Certain Mizrahi groups go. 
But he will the the Svadim don't go. He went in. I don't fled, but they fled. They This guy was t- telling me that actually the the control over the Harabais didn't change at all since under the British mandate. Meaning that the Waqf still has the work, yeah. control over that Mokim, the same level that it was then. Nothing changed, and unfortunately, they didn't give him the whole control. You said, and Moshe Dayan said, okay, continue. When we took in 67. Siv Dalit. Hamini Yacht Filin, Sarat Lizar, Mihir, Taiba Seisha. Vimi Ashla Bilahi Hore. So you know that you're not going to be able to hold yourself back. For sure not. You're not sure. You should not refrain from, from doing the mitzvah of Tfilin. What happened to Yetzirah? You come to Yudafka when you put Tfilin. <laughs> so, yeah, it's only but not when it's a suffix, only when it's a bad day. Okay. Um. One of the reasons why certain people had an issue with the Rebbe's Tfilin campaign, Mifta Tfilin, when he started in 67, was this halacha we just learned. It said that people have Hiru Tfilin, Hiru Taivas, so you're putting on Friar people Tfilin. Who knows what they're, they're having a gufnaki or what they're thinking about. Um, but you can always have when you do good things you're gonna have something uh, you know you can have a fallout you know uh, our name and the name of 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 the he came to give a shear here. Kishmak. Kishmak. It was very Very big, yeah. Very unique. Kishmak. In the way he presented the shield. Hey, you can see him on Zoom. Very bad. You can check, check him on Zoom. His father is from where? From uh, Argentina? No, Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Same family. Same family. He said he said it was on the... Well, he has, he has, he has Hashem Azadis from both sides. Zayda was a German video, this was a chance. Yeah. Zayda, is Zayda on his father's side is a big rock, wrote a lot of Svarim, in Yishalayim, Parakash. He's still, he's still. Yeah. And his other Zayda is a Rosh Hashiva in Los Angeles, or El Khan Chabad. So he has a, a very fine man. Very fine, very quiet, 
They do, but he knows the yam. But he knows the aloch that is so good. So you can watch it at night. They can give me a share. <laughs> and they were nice. You we have a shenu. Yeah, we ate, we ate people. Oh, we are nine. They now. Is Yael coming back? You told you to come back, please. Yeah, bring it on. Yeah, told you to come back, please. So we have a time. What do you say? What happened Monday night? You had to see Montagna? Oh, oh, but it's a very really good one. And he came also and I told him, oh, did you go with yourself? You need one. You're nice. Huh? Thank you, everyone, for joining. Thank you, Rabbi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say talk to the rabbi. Hey, the baby oh, boy. Thank you, Rabbi. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank everyone. Oh, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Shaduchim everything. Call to. Amen. Thank you. And I can see what I see my Taiva. Amen. 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 Amen.